Welcome back to another Dan Factoid, where we address questions that divers have and uh, we learn with them and uh, really enjoy the opportunity to interact with our members in this way. In this case, we have a rescue diver that asks the question about a diver getting an oxygen toxicity event underwater and then being retrieved to the surface and then the question is should they now be given oxygen or not? The answer to this is as follows. First of all, oxygen toxicity if it occurs underwater would be under very unusual circumstances. So it would be a very high PO2 or it would be a very demanding dive or it could be any number of things that accentuate the effect that oxygen has under water. However, one of the concerns that one would have when rescuing such an individual would be near drowning and secondly one might also have the issue of hypoxia because when they had their oxygen convulsion or oxygen reaction they may in fact not have been breathing properly and if they didn't suffer lung overpressure injury or gas embolism which would be very fortunate they would certainly be very much the better off by having additional oxygen first aid. Oxygen toxicity as far as the brain is concerned is unheard of at one atmosphere. In other words underwater we know that even 1.4 atmospheres in other words 4 meters underwater it is possible to have oxygen toxicity however at one atmosphere 100% oxygen even there will not cause an oxygen seizure because the individual simply has such metabolically active brain tissue that the oxygen levels don't go high enough. Now one caveat what might happen is that the individual upon reaching the surface may have a seizure as a result of the brain injury or perhaps underlying ep epilepsy that they had in the first place. Under those conditions maintaining the airway and protecting the airway comes first but even under those conditions providing oxygen is still the very best thing you can do to prevent unnecessary brain damage or damage to other organs as a result of hypoxia. So the quick answer to your question is underwater oxygen toxicity and above water oxygen toxicity are not an issue when it comes to the brain. It's a different story if you've got someone day in day out on oxygen uh, in a ward where the lungs may be involved and they then need further recompression. That's a completely different scenario. What we're talking about here is the brain and the brain needs oxygen and when you're at the surface there's no question that it is a good thing to provide it. Until next time, safe diving.